Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Surplus not here. Bringing the other part to the series of videos on maintaining your um, polish stainless steel rifle or any gun that you might have that it's stainless steel and it's been highly polished to a very bright luster finish. Um, how to maintain your <clears throat> metal parts. So basically, um, if you check out the other parts of, to the series of videos, you're going to notice where we apply the cream and now we are at the point that we need to start buffing the rifle. I'm still got my sock on, okay, and I'm going to use my shirt, okay, and I'm going to start with this piece of the shirt just to show you guys how clean that is. And I'm going to leave it just there and start hitting working on the barrel and then I'm going to bring it out and show it to you guys so you can see the results on this stuff. Look at this. You see that? That's just from grabbing it, the tip right there and just kind of like buffing it up. Okay, now let me get to work here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started on the barrel. You want to go ahead and start with your barrel. Look at this, how, how it's coming out. Okay, and I usually just work the, the front part of the barrel to where the stock starts, like right here. And just work that really good. Now, what, what I'll be doing is, by doing this, I'm kind of like just using the actual um, polishing cream and kind of like rebuffing it again with this rag. Then I switch the rag around to a clean part of it and I give it its final cleaning. Okay. You keep on switching your rag around. Okay, you want to go back to the part that more or less it got a little dirty to work on taking this stuff off. Now we're gonna go and get started on the uh, part where the stock starts. Okay. So we're gonna do that there. I usually do it from here where the stock starts. I usually do it from where, up to where the scope starts. Like the front of it. Okay. Just give it a good buffing job. Let's work the back a little bit. I'm gonna get all this stuff off. Always try to move the rag around and get different, you know, try to work with a clean spot of your rag. When you check your rag, you're gonna notice it's gonna build that that haze, that haze. See those, those black spots? You're gonna get that on your rag. You wanna keep turning it around to you, you know, always using a clean part of it. Keep turning it around. And you see right away, I mean, how this thing starts picking up that shine. You can even use the size the the sock that you have on your hands because you're gonna have like real tight spots to get in there with the tip of your fingers. So you wanna use the sock or even a a, a con glove or something that you can put around your hands and, and get on the little crevices and little areas and just kind of like, you know, use it to polish it. 
We're going to go ahead and do the other side. Put the rag on this side like this. And just work that other side really good. Clean it all the way. You don't want to leave the screen on there. Not that it's going to hurt it, but you want to kind of like remember for sure and look everywhere you applied it and take it all off. Give it like a really good thorough. And now even though once I finish this video here, I will, you know, after I stop the camera, I'm going to stay a few minutes on this rifle to make sure that everything got buffed, that every, all, you know, there's no leftover areas where the cream got applied and I didn't take it off. What you want to do to get underneath the scope, just get your rag, run it underneath there, and just like a shoe, okay? back and forth that's looking really really good if you do this your rifle will stay polished this is called maintaining it I mean you're not gonna get a gun get it polished I even do this if you guys have seen my videos on my handguns on my Taurus PT-92 on my Taurus PT-92 that is, it's got the custom uh, jewel trigger. And check out my video, subscribe to my channel, you'll see it there. You can log into my channel and, and, and look for that video. Where I had that stainless steel PT-92 Taurus 9mm. I had the barrel jeweled and polished. That gun, it's... A stainless steel gun and for the most part of the parts of the guns is all polished I have to do this to that gun too I'll probably make a video and just showing you guys how to maintain that gun because I mean I've seen a lot of PT-92's out there the stainless steel type not the blue the stainless steel and they look dull you know and that's because people don't take the time and the extra mile to disassemble a little bit and actually clean it and keep it polished and keep that luster on it you know so basically right now I think we're pretty much taking care of all the um, all the areas okay and I just want to show you guys so you guys could see the difference that it makes when you do this and you polish your rifle okay let me just show you guys up close so you guys can see the difference on maintaining your rifle really nice and polished Look how clean that is, that you can see the reflection of the camera on the barrel. See that? That's the camera lens right there. Okay? You can see the camera and even me behind it. Okay? I'm waving. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? You can see the reflection on the barrel. See how nice that looks? All right? that's how you do it guys anything if you have a handgun that's you know Desert Eagle I've seen some nice one all chromed or aluminum polished whatever this cream will take care of that okay how clean that 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 came out okay that's what you do Okay. Look how clean look how pretty the the wood came out. 
look at the luster in the wood and that's either Febreze or Pledge will give you that luster this rifle was finished with tongue oil that all it has I got it from Richard Microfit very crude gave it you know prepared it like sanding it down and you know the prep work that you guys always hear me talk about and then just started I gave it like about 15 hands of uh, tongue oil okay that's all this gun has it doesn't have polyurethane shellac lacquer they didn't take it to a body shop or a wood furniture place so they can spray it down with shellac or lacquer no right done at home with tongue oil I love tongue oil there's no you're not gonna have those mishaps on running it you know uh, taking the chance of having runs like we like with polyurethane on spray no you know that's all this gun has look at the luster on that wood I was gonna refinish the gun do like a flame paint it black and do a flame job with like this artist that was gonna shoot it with like airbrush and do like some flames and then coat it with an automobile um, uh, clear coat but you know what I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'll just probably end up building me another bench rest and do, do it that way with a Macmillan stock or something I'm just gonna leave this one like this I mean I think it goes really nice with the um, the wood the colors really nice with the rifle I think it looks good what do you guys think I mean leave me a comment if you guys think I should do another uh, paint job on this stock or just leave it the way it is um, see how that came out look at the shine on that barrel okay highly polished so I hope you guys enjoy it there's the bolt let's go ahead and uh, put the bolt back in there grab it with this rag okay we're gonna put the bolt there's the bolt okay that's how it fits with the bolt this is jewel trigger set like about three ounces Oop, there we go barely touched it okay that's how the rifle looks I think it's like a Cadillac man real big uh, at the end here put your hand on it real fat it's got a three inch wide fore end okay look at that custom build bench rest rifle done by Suarez tactical rifles here in Miami you can check in check him out his website Suarez tactical rifles.com okay I have his YouTube channel posted on my page on my channel so I hope you guys like it and I'll check you guys out later on